Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Rafael. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you today? I'm fine, and you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. I, I, I have very, very good work. Um, um, half, half free time after oh. only, only work, only work the morning okay. and the after free day. All right, that's nice. You had some time to rest. Yes. Okay, so what do you do, Rafael? I finish the dinner. Okay. Con la con la plata plataforma ese por el trabajo he tenido un poco un poco inconveniente en poder avanzar, sin embargo, no me me he hecho la meta de terminar todo el fin de semana, teacher. All right, that will be perfect. Thanks, teacher. Good evening, Hector. Good evening. How are you doing? Fine. Great. How was your day? Busy, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The adult life. It's always that way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and how are you doing with the platform, Hector? I am in, in section 5.4. Section 5.4. Okay, you're doing pretty well. Almost done. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Teacher, I want a question. Okay, tell me. Fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, the next year, I begin in a, a new cycle in my university and my uh, horaries is changed. And I finish my class at eight, o'clock uh, more or less and my question is si puedo cambiar el horario de, la, de las clases de inglés fíjese que ahí realmente no, no manejo yo esa información pero podríamos consultar con Miss Elena Elena Méndez que está también en nuestro grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí sí. puede buscar el contacto y le puede escribir a ella. Ella sabrá darle una mejor respuesta porque realmente no sé cómo, cómo podemos hacer en ese caso. Sin embargo, lo que sí podríamos hacer es eh, ver los videos luego, o sea, que no asistiera a las conferencias, sino que se, que se maneje en cuanto a los videos, que el siguiente día están disponibles siempre, ¿verdad? Y el trabajo en la plataforma, que es lo principal en este curso, en esta modalidad. Uh -huh. sí. Ok, en un dado caso no se podría cambiar, sería de esa modalidad. Sí, me imagino que, que así sería. Eh, sí, lo mejor, como le digo, sería que hable con ella, porque ella es la coordinadora, entonces ella sí. Sí sabe, ¿verdad? Y cómo podríamos arreglar ese asunto. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Eso era. Ok. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. How are you? And good. And you? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Uh, good. Okay. Did you stay home again? Yes, I stay home. Okay. All right, that's good. Good evening, Edwin. 
Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am well. And Great. you? I'm fine. Thanks. How was your day? I I had a good day. All right. I'm glad to hear that. Did you have to work today? Yes. I am I am work today. All right. Do you Teacher. have a question? Tell me. Sí, yes. Eh, aún no se me ha solucionado el problema de la plataforma. Del botón de submit era, ¿verdad? Sí. No sé si consultó con los muchachos. No, aún, aún todavía no. Aún no, ok. Entonces mañana debería de escribirles a ver qué le, puede, qué le dicen ellos. Igual yo voy a comentarle a Jason, por cualquier cosa regáleme su nombre completo, por favor. Ok, mi nombre completo es Edwin Humberto uh -huh. Castro Orellana. Muy bien. Ok, entonces yo voy a informar a Jonathan, perdón, a Jason sobre este asunto también y él podría ayudarle ahí con eso. Ok, ok, teacher, thanks. All right, you're welcome. Ok, I think we may start with our class, so let's... Let's get this. Okay, today we are going to start by practicing some tongue twisters. Do you know the meaning of tongue twister? Exactly. So we're going to practice a little bit of pronunciation by saying some tongue twisters. The first one I got is the big fat cat sat on the rat. Everybody repeat, please. The big. The big. Fat cat. Fat cat. Sat. The big cat sat. sat. On the rat. On the rat. On the rat. Sat on the rat. Again, big. Big, 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 fat, 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 fat cat, fat, fat, cat, fat, sad, 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 rat, rat, rat. Now let's say it all. The big fat cat sat on the rat. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Okay. The big fat cat sat on the rat. The big, the big, the big fat, fat cat big sat, on fat the rat. sat on the rat. Right all right, so now let me ask Edwin to read it. Okay. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Great. Hector, go ahead. The, the big fat cat sat on the rat. Very good. Rafael. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Great. Daniel, it's your turn. The big fat cat sat on the rod. Very good, Daniel. Stephanie, go ahead. Okay. The big fat cat sat on the on the rod. Great. Luciano. Okay, teacher. The big fat cat sat on the rod. Excellent. Sergio. Sergio Eduardo. The, the big fat cat sat on the rat. Okay, very good. Now everybody say it. The big fat cat sat on the rat. The big fat cat sat on the rat. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Okay, then I have another one, which is she sells seashells by the seashore. Everybody repeat, please. She. <laughs> she. Sells. She. Sells. Seashells. Seashells. By the. By the. By the. 
Seashore. Seashore. Seashells. 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 By the seashore. By the seashore. Okay, now let's give it a try. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells by the seashore. Okay, let's say it again. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, let me ask. Daniel Ocampo, go ahead and say it. He sells he sells by the scissors. Okay. Rafael. She sells seashell by the seashore. Very good. Luciano. She sells seashell by the seashore. Great. Mauricio. She sells, she sells by the seashore. Okay. And let's see, Stephanie. She sells, she sells by the seashore. Very good. Edwin. Um, she sells, she sells by the seashore. Very good. I think Rafael, go ahead and read it. She sells seashell by the seashore. Great. Andrea Araceli. Uh, good evening. Acabo de, de entrar a la clase. Oh, okay. We're, we're, just, we're huh? just practicing this on Twister. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. She sells seashells by the by the seashore. Again, don't worry, don't worry. Say it again. Mm. She sells, she sells, she yes. sells seashell, seashell by the seashore. Okay, very good, Andrea. Sergio Eduardo, go ahead. She sells seashells by the seashore. Excellent. And we got one last one. This one is 60 silly sisters simply singing. Repeat, please. 60, 60 silly sister. sister. Okay, repeat please. 60. 60. 60. 60. Silly. Silly. Sisters. 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 Simply. Simply. Singing. 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 60 silly sisters. 60 silly sisters. Simply singing. Simply singing. Simply. 60 silly sisters. Repeat, please. Simply. 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 Okay, Simply. now let's say it all. 60 silly sisters simply singing. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Sister 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 okay, Luciano, go ahead and practice it. Okay. Uh, 60, 60, sister simply sisting. Sisting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Hector. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Very good. Stephanie. 60 sis. <laughs> Again. Again. 60 silly, 60 silly sisters simply singing. Very good, Stephanie. Mauricio, it's your turn. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Very good. Andrea Araceli. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Very good. Edwin. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Okay, right. Rafael. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Great. Daniel. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Very well. Sergio Eduardo. 60 silly sisters simply singing. Excellent. Karina. 60 silly sisters simple singing. Okay. Karen Briseida. 
50 silly sisters simply singing. Great. Okay, let's say them all a last time. Please repeat after me. The big fat cat sat on the rat. The big, the big fat, fat cat sat on the rat. Cat sat on the rat. The rat. The big fat cat sat on the rat. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. Sixty silly sisters simply singing. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. One more time. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells by the seashore. Okay, very good. Now let's talk about today's lesson objective. So yesterday we started talking about the modifiers. In the session, we will learn to use modifiers with participles and prepositions. So let's go to the platform first of all. And we're going to watch this video. I want you to pay attention and I'm going to just talk about the, the explanation behind the modifiers and the examples, review the examples. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Oh, Who is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay, let In me this play session, it as, we will understand. Let me play it a second time so we review the the example and use time. modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Okay, so in the first case, we have modifiers with participles. The participles are the verbs ending in ing. But as mentioned in the video, they are not acting as verbs. They are acting as adjectives. Why do we say that? because they are describing, for example, here we're talking about the man, the man wearing a green shirt. So this participle wearing a green shirt is adding some extra information or some important essential information about the man. It's describing the man. We also have a second example, which says he's the one talking to Liz. If we only keep it as he's the one, we do not know who's the one, right? It doesn't give us enough information. So we need to add something else in order to identify that one, that man we're talking about, Raul, right? Then we say, he's the one talking to Liz. He's the one talking to Liz. As you see, we use the participles ending in ing, wearing, talking, standing, sitting, and so on. 
And as mentioned before, they are used to describe and identify the person we are talking about or the thing we're talking about. And also another thing to keep in mind is that we use um, this kind of participle or this kind of modifier together with a noun. It always modifies a noun. For example, here, man, one, we could also have things like woman, girl, um, kid, children. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay, then we have some modifiers with prepositions. They act in the same way as the participles. They describe the person in this case that we're talking about. For example, in the first one, she's the woman with short black hair. What woman? The one with short black hair, right? We are adding some extra information to specify what woman we're talking about. Then we have, she's the tall one in jeans. As you see, we use the preposition in in order to add more information about that tall one or that tall woman or girl we're talking about. Another example is they're the people next to the window. Next to the window that is describing the people. And we get a, a last example which says they're the ones on the couch. They are the ones on the couch. So which ones? The ones on the couch. Now everybody repeat please. He's the man wearing a green shirt. He's the man wearing a green shirt. We're wearing a green shirt. He's the one talking to Liz. He's the one talking to Liz. She's the woman with short black hair. She's the tall one in jeans. She's the tall one in jeans. They're the people next to the window. They are the people next to the window. Next to the window. They are the ones on the couch. They are the ones on the couch. On the couch. On the couch. On the couch. Okay, so here I have some other examples of modifiers with gerunds. Sergio Eduardo, can you help me to read it, please? He's a man eating a hamburger. He's a man eating a hamburger. And we're specifying that we're talking about that man, that, that man that's eating a hamburger. It's not any other man, right? Next example. Stephanie, can you read it? She's the one sitting on the corner. Okay, here we use sitting on the corner. She's the one sitting on the corner. Teacher, Tell I me. have a question. Okay. Eh, como, como diríamos en español, she is he one. She, she, she is the one. Es la que... For example, here is la que está sentada en la esquina. She's the one okay. sitting in the corner. Hmm? Okay. All right, next example, Karina. There's the one dancing on the dance floor. Thank you. We got dancing on the dance floor. They are the ones dancing on the dance floor. Next one, Daniel. The girl sitting next to Ricardo is my best friend. Thanks for reading. Here we say the girl sitting next to Ricardo is my best friend. So you see, we can use the modifiers in different places. 
in the first three sentences, we were using them right after the verb, right? He is the man eating a hamburger. She is the one sitting on the corner. They are the ones dancing on the dance floor. So we're using it after the verb. We're using the modifiers after the verbs. Here after is and here after are. In this case, we're using the modifier in the, in the subject. It goes like the girl sitting next to Ricardo is my best friend. Here we have the verb right after the modifier, the girl sitting next to Ricardo. We got another example. Andrea, can you help me to read it, please? Okay. Uh, the number four, right? Oh, number I... five. Yeah. Okay. The boy wearing a red jacket is my boyfriend. Thank you. Here, one more time, we have an example that takes the modifier in the subject. It goes like the boy wearing a red jacket is my boyfriend. The boy wearing a red jacket, we see. Okay, now it's time to practice. Let me go back to here. And here, we got some people over here. We're going to just name them so we can identify them. So let's call this one Robert. What name could we give to this girl over here? Help me, please. Any names for her? Let's call, call her Kate. And this one's Lisa, according to the conversation, it's Lisa. Let me just write it over here. Oh no, Julia, right? Her name is Julia, according to the conversation. Okay, let's call this man Jack. And we're calling this woman, oh, that doesn't. Let me get another color. Okay, let's call this girl Maggie. Okay, thanks, Maggie. And this one, let's call here Anne. Liz. Okay, we're calling this one Liz. Liz. And this man, how can we call him? Alex. What is it? Alex. Alex, okay. All right, so now that we have identified all of them with names, I'm going to ask you about a specific person. Oh, we're missing this one. Let's call him, um, let's see, Jason. Okay, so I'm going to ask you about one specific person and you tell me a description using a modifier with a participle. For example, if I ask you, who's Julia? What can you tell me? She is the one. Julia is in the view wearing a jacket. Okay, Julia is the, the girl wearing a jacket. Any other thing that you could tell me about Julia? Using a participle? Modifier. Julia is near to the window. Julia is near the window. Okay. Any other thing? Uh, Julia yeah. is drinking um, drinking a beer. Okay. Julia is drinking a beer. Julia is the girl drinking a beer. She's right. a tall one in jeans. She's a tall one in jeans. That's another possible description. 
Okay, now yeah. tell me okay. who's Anne. What? Who's Anne? We got Anne over here. Okay. Uh, uh, Anna is the girl talking with Alex. Okay, the girl talking with Alex. What else? Annie is, Annie Hi, is the Anna. girl behind Jack. Anne is the girl be behind Jack. Okay. <clears throat> Any other thing you could tell me about Anne? I'm um, drinking to Alec. Okay, she's the girl drinking with Alex. Also, you could give me some kind of physical description. For example, her hair. What can you tell me about her hair? She's the girl. Long dark hair. With long dark hair or short dark hair? With long or short or maybe medium length? Maybe medium. Yeah, medium length, right? Okay. All right, now tell me about Kate. Who's Kate? <clears throat> Kate is the girl talking with Robert. Okay. What else can you tell me about her? Kate is the girl wearing uh, green blouse. That's right. Any other thing? Um, Kate is the girl wearing uh, glasses. Wearing glasses, that's right. Okay, now tell me who's Maggie. Maggie is the girl uh, dancing to Jack. Dancing with Jack, okay. With Jack, okay. with Jack. What else? Maggie is the girl with curly brown hair. Okay. Maggie is, is the one wearing uh, a purple dress. That's correct. Now tell me about Jason. Who's Jason? Jason is the man in front of Liz. Okay. What else? Jason is the man Talking with Liz. Talking with Liz, okay. Any other? Jason is the man with short red hair. That's right. Very good. Yes. Jason is the man. Jason is the man that behind on the Julia. Behind Julia, that's right. Very good. Okay, now let me provide some more examples for the modifiers with prepositions. Here I have, she's the girl in black. She's the girl in black. So maybe she's wearing a, a black dress or it could be black blouse and black jeans. And I mean, all in black. Then, Mauricio, can you help me to read the next example, please? Annie is the one with green shorts. The one with green shorts, we say. Franklin, can you help me with the next one? Okay. Uh, they are the people next to share. To the yeah. chair. Okay. Thank you. The people next to the chair, we say the people next to the chair. So this is identifying what people we're talking about. Luciano, help me to read, please. Okay. My brother are there once on the dancing floor. My brothers are the ones on the dance floor. Very good. 
So we say the ones on the dance floor. Next example. Karen, can you help me? Annie is the one with green charts. Um, the last example, please, Karen, the book. Hello? Yes, can you see the last example? It starts with the book. The book on the table is Barbara Books. Thank you, Karen. So we got over here the book on the table. And once again, here in the first four sentences, we were using the modifiers in the predicate right after the verbs. The girl in black, she is the girl in black right after the verb. And the same happens here. We got is then the one with green shorts. But in this sentence, we're using the modifier in the subject. The book on the table. We're not talking about any book. We're talking about the book on the table, specifically that one. And we're saying that it's Barbara's book. Here we get another example. Can you help me to read it? Let's see. Edwin? Okay. The girl in the neighboring house plays the flute every, every, every night. Thank you. Every night. Okay. So we say the girl in the neighboring house plays the flute every night. The girl in the neighboring house. So that's the way we use modifiers with prepositions. Do we have any questions about this? No questions. Flow. Sorry, can you repeat what means that? Flute, flute? Uh, that is the, the instrument, the musical instrument, flauta. Okay. And neighboring, what's mean neighboring? Neighboring house, it's the house next to yours, your neighbor's house. La casa vecina. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to describe ourselves. I'll ask you for a favor. If you could um, turn on your camera, that would be great. If it's okay for you, just turn on your camera because we're going to try to describe ourselves. Let's give it a try. Very good, thanks Hector. And the others, if you could just turn on your camera, that would be fine. So now we're going to try to identify each of us by saying a description using modifiers. For example, what would you say if I ask you who's your teacher? What can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Any ideas? Who's your teacher? Mm -hmm. You could say she's she, mm -hmm. she's the girl with a uh, long 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 black hair. Long black hair. Okay. What else can you can you say about your teacher? She's wearing uh, glasses. She's the one wearing glasses. Okay. Anything else? Um, uh, I want a question. Tell me. And she's the one wearing a glasses. Uh, también se podría utilizar. She's the one use a glasses. No, in that case, the verb we need is wear. We do not use. For anything you put on your body, you use wear, the verb wear. 
todo lo que vestimos o ponemos en nuestro cuerpo se expresa diciendo wear. So you wear glasses, you wear also jewelry like earrings, necklaces. You wear a watch, for instance, in all clothing, you wear it. You don't use it, you wear it. Okay? Teacher. Tell me. Entonces, si yo quiero decir, tú traes una camisa negra, sería you wear a black shirt. You're wearing a black shirt, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we're going to try to describe each person by saying a description similar to this one. Like I ask you, who's your teacher? She's the girl with long black hair. She's the one wearing glasses, right? Let me send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes for you to practice. And you have to describe each of the participants of the group. Um, let's make groups of four participants. So you ask, for example, who's Stephanie? Stephanie is the girl wearing a white shirt and so on. Stephanie is the girl um, with black hair and so on. So that's what you have to do. Is it clear? Are we clear about that? Okay, so let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. Try to practice, please. Hi there. Hi, teacher. Hi, Luciano, Rafael, Karina, and Karen. Um, is it possible for you to turn on your cameras? No sé si sería posible que para el ejercicio encendamos las cámaras. Yes. All right, great. Thanks, Rafael. Thanks, Luciano. Okay, and then you can start practicing. Let's say, who's Rafael? What can you tell me about him? He's a... Sample with, with who, yeah? The question goes with who? Who's Rafael? Then you answer, he's the one or he's the man, he's the, the guy. And you well, add a description. Uh, mm -hmm. White t-shirt? He won. He. Choose, choose color brown. Okay. What else? Cool. He's the one with a beard and a, and a mustache, you could also say. Mustache. Mm -hmm. Is she wearing a white shirt? Is he wearing a white shirt? Is that right, Rafael? Is it white? No. Repeat, please. Karen, ask him. He is wearing a white shirt. Okay, so Rafael, you're wearing a white shirt. Is that right? Mm. Yes. Okay. All right. Continue practicing. 
Okay, teacher. T-shirt is camiseta. Yo me confundo con qué qué es eso. Ah. ¿Qué es eso, Andrea? Ay, que skirt significa falda. Falda. <risa> con eso me confundí. And Miss Lily is the girl wearing glasses. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Uh, oh, for example, Hector is the man with uh, with hair. No, with. Bueno, lo voy a repetir de nuevo. Hector is the man with eh, eh, como short. Eh, Black hair. Yeah, okay. but, but uh, mostly uh, gray. Gray. Ah, okay, gray. That okay. Is, was when I was young. <laughs> Teacher, okay. y en ese caso se tiene que, que decir primero, eh, digamos, lo que es como el adjetivo. Lo que describe la persona y después uh, a la persona, por ejemplo. Uh, she's the long black hair. Uh, o oh, sería. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? The, sí, ¿verdad? Es verdad. She's the long black the, hair girl. He's the girl oh. with long black hair. Okay, okay, okay. Primero tenemos que mencionar el noun, que sería the man, the woman, the girl, the guy, the kid, or just talking about anything, the book, it could be the cell phone, just whatever thing you're describing. And then you add okay. the modifier, okay? Yes. All right, continue. Oh, okay, oh, otro ejemplo. Tell me. Uh, Hector, uh, he's, he's the one wearing glasses, wearing two glasses. Wearing glasses, that's right. Ah, wearing glasses, okay. Mm -hmm. He's the one wearing glasses, okay. Yes. Hello, have you finished? Yes, teacher, only falta que escribamos a Sergio. Pero como no hay encendido la cama, para encender. Okay. He is the man wearing a black t-shirt. Right. Yes. And he is he, the young. He is yeah. the man. Young man. He's the man. Yeah, yes, young. He's bl short black hair. Okay. And, y para decir el color de piel está bien que diga he's brunette skin. He's the man with brunette skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. He is with brunette skin. He's the man, you say. Always remember that you need to it's say sense. the noun first. Yeah, we always need to mention, for example, the man, the girl, the one, or the guy, um, the woman, for instance, and then we add the modifier. Siempre hay que mencionar de quién estamos hablando, de mm. la mujer, del hombre, del chico, and so on, right? Okay. okay, so we're getting back in just a minute. All right. Okay.
your microphone. Thank you. Okay, so I was telling you, we are going to develop this exercise, this knowledge check 4.13. And what we have to do is to rewrite the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions. Here we have an example. Mary is the beautiful girl. She is standing by the door. And uh, then we get the sentence, Mary is the beautiful girl standing by the door. So we got this modifier, right? The beautiful girl standing by the door. And then we have already developed number one. It says Clark is a tall guy. He's wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. And the answer we get is Clark is a tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Let's see, Mauricio, can you help me to read the second, please? Ada and Luz are good looking couple talking to Tom. You're talking to Tom, okay. And then how do we make only one sentence using a modifier? What do we say? Any ideas? Talking. Tell me the whole sentence. So we say Adam and Adam and Luz are the good looking couple talking to Tom. That is correct. We say Adam and Luz are the good looking couple talking to Tom. So the modifier that we added is talking to Tom, the couple talking to Tom. Number three, help me to read, Andrea. Line is the young girl. She's in a strapped t-shirt and blue jeans. Okay, what could be the sentence with a modifier? Line is the girl wearing a strip t-shirt wearing or just use a in preposition the... in we say in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans in this case we got a modifier with a preposition in and it goes like Line or Lynn is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Next one, Edwin, help me to read, please. Teacher. Tell me. Sorry, I couldn't get that. In number three, in number three it is? In era preposition. Yeah, yeah, we're using a modifier with a preposition in. So the modifier okay. would be in a striped t shirt and blue jeans. We're talking about the young yeah, girl no. in okay. a striped t shirt and blue jeans. All right, so Edwin, help me okay. to read, please. Jessica and Luz are women. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Okay. So we say Jessica is the attractive woman. And the modifier the modifier would be sitting left of Antonio. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Okay, so that's the modifier we get sitting to the left of Antonio. And we say Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Next one, help me to read, please, um, Luciano. Okay. Yeah. Hey. 
A.G. is the short looking boy listed the new Sal City. Sal City. All right, so we got A.J. Okay, he's a serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. There, the modifier would be what is it? Listening. Listening to his new salsa CD, right? We're talking about the serious looking boy yeah. listening to his new salsa CD. Okay, so yeah. that's how we use the, the modifiers with prepositions and also with participles, with ING, right? And do we have any questions about this? No. no. All right. That's so, a question. Okay, so let me just remind you that um, today we are finishing our third week. So that means that we should be at least in section number four in the platform. Please, if you have not completed section four, please do so today or tomorrow or well, the most on the weekend because it's important to keep on updating the platform and completing all the exercises. So please, I ask you to complete at least section four. And if you could continue and work in section five, that will be perfect, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, and also remember that tomorrow we do not have a class. We already covered. Okay. Friday, not have a so class. We're, we're okay. Good, okay. We do not have a class. Okay. We'll see you on Monday. Okay. Take care. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. See you. Good night. Bye, bye. See you next week. See you.